for being a motherfucking punk. I can be very quiet. So quiet I can barely hear my own clicks. Maybe that doesn't make me a punk. Just a cockatoo that looks stereotypically homeless enough that when I sit on the side of the road I am given five bucks. No, not complaining about the five bucks. <laughs> complaining that my throat feels like it's rotting every time someone asks me how I'm doing and I'm always just great. I'm alive so I've got that going for me. All I can prescribe emotions with is my diagnosis, never how it haunts dreams of claustrophobia and dried out bones in my bed. Never explain how my most abusive lover is myself, which as a rape victim really says something, huh? My doctor tells me my self-loathing has appeared again in my speech. I tell him that I'm starting to understand all the hands laid on me in nightclubs say more than any forced compliment will. For someone with a mohawk, I should talk about my pain with less logistics, more anger, more shattering every window in the house because I'm jealous how my eyes don't shine like the glass. I know when someone asks me if I'm okay, it would make more sense if I crumbled in their hands like a tuna sandwich caught in the rain. <laughs> and I should make shitty metaphors more often because Rose's thorns get nowhere close to piercing the surface. I am quiet for a punk because the only time my lips unzip, I am faced with a boy sobbing for all of me that has been lost. When I am the only, when I am the one who should be crying, I am quiet for a punk because I fear for my career, my friends, my life. If I correct someone mistaking me for a girl, I am quiet for a punk because I was never taught how to scream, only taught how to hush. I am quiet for a punk because I no longer let my knife do the talking. I use my lungs and spill poison all over my doctor's floor. Knowing my antidote is a shadow I can only chase during the day. <laughs>